We are back. Almost live, but not live. We've talked about this before. Mike has a... You love saying live, even though we're not live at all. Desperate hatred of the saying of the live. No, I have a desperate hatred of just non-truths. Do you know it was the biggest non-truth that I had that I actually had experienced this past week that I didn't think to add on to our talk list, but I want to talk about it right now? What's that? The fucking smoking hot chick got voted off American Idol, and I'm fucking devastated. I don't know. I've been watching this on and off. And you love American they were down. Idol. They were down to the final three, and I don't remember. Well, I'm sorry. I don't remember the name of the one of the one black chick, but she's good. She deserved to go on to the, to the final two. Then there's another girl named Cree. She, Cree's good. She's about a seven beer kid. You need, are, are, you, need, are you blinded no. by the the hot girl's the talent? Hot, no, the hot the hot girl was really probably the most talented, maybe the second most talented behind the one black chick. But she should have made it in. Okay. And the reaction that they had, even the judges, and even the the crowd, like because the, they because they, they did it, so they did the three. They said like the black chick's in first, which everyone's like, all right, she, she was gonna be probably there. Then right. it was between, is it gonna be Angie or Cree? And then it gets down, and they're like. And like Cree's like you can see them like talking to each other like oh Cree's like oh congratulations like because like everyone knew right mm-hmm. and they're like going to the final secrets like going to the finals is and everyone's like that's Angie I was thinking about just turning my TV off I was that I was that confident wow and then Cree and everyone's just like like you know how they're supposed to clap but there was kind of like a slow yeah a slow kind of clap yeah is this real life. <laughs> And Angie, with her nice legs and her beautiful silky voice, and those and those piano tapping nice fingers of hers, unbelievable, Mike. Color hair, color hair, uh-huh. brunette. Huh. Yeah, you thought she was gonna be a blonde or something? I did. You you like your blondes? I don't know what it is. Not a lot. I don't know. They're okay. Sometimes. All right, let's. What else are we talking about in Mitch and Mike on the Mike podcast? Well, uh, your your God T-shirt. Oh, got God, pull it up. oh, fucking mighty! Thank you very much for reminding me. I was carousing on the Facebook pages like I do, getting into a lost web of person-to-person interaction where I'd click on somebody and click. You may know this person. You may know this person. You may know this person. And I'm scrolling on some old ladies thing, and there was a there was a shared photograph. And sometimes you get a lot of these, these like these pictures that people share, and you don't know the like like you, like oh this is good this is definitely photoshopped. People do it a lot with like billboard sayings, you know, just you know they're just photoshopped on shit with these with these fake sayings. And so if you can take a if you can take a look right here, Mike, and you can there ex- it is. And you can, yep, and I can you, see that. And you can explain you can explain to the good people the the shirt that was printed that was then shared by this person who I got to. Well, it's it's basically in the form of two letters. There there's you know uh, the spacing and there's two different fonts. And the first one starts out it says, "Dear God, why do you allow so much violence in our school?" Signed, a concerned student. And then the next part says, "Dear concerned student, I'm not allowed in schools." Signed, God. What do you think about that, Mike? I what, like it. What's your What's your thoughts? I think it's a very clever and poignant uh, T-shirt. I'm a, little and I'm a little concerned about your thoughts on this. I get it that you like it because you like what did you say the separation. Yeah, I, I, I it, you know, you have to have separation in church, church and state. It's not about. It's not, That's not what this is about, though. You'll see, this is about. Oh yeah, you're right. It's about a religious person made this T-shirt or photoshopped See, yeah, it I'm in. I'm seeing it. I'm seeing it as the opposite way. Yeah, you're because right. Because they're talking about why do you allow so much violence, right? So, and I agree with you. Separation of church and state is probably it's probably there, yeah of of all in, in as much as they do they do use the terminology God in the the setting up of the the Constitution and shit. They, they'll use that term. It is the our constitution and our declaration of independence and all that shit was the first ever to separate, to make it as like a secular government where there's that freedom of religion, which is the greatest fucking thing of all time. Greatest fucking thing. Yeah. You're right. So, as, so, as I'm reading it now, the so person sure, saying they, they want God in school. So, I mean, obviously some kid isn't going to print this because yeah. some kid's not going to know how to run a fucking printing machine. <laughs> some fucking, uh, some, some adult who should have the brains 
and, and to know this, mm-hmm. you think think about this. So they're concerned with the fact that there are shootings in schools, which are awful, which are horrendous. Yeah, it's a terrible thing. And as time goes by, you'll see that there's just an obvious negative correlation or zero correlation between how much somebody prays and, and how much apparently their quote unquote God shows up because it is a negative correlation. It, as, it doesn't uh, add up. Well, George Carlin always said he prayed to two different things. One, one was he prayed to the sun, and the other one was he prayed to Joe Pesci. Yeah, he prayed to Joe Pesci. Yeah, yeah, that that fucking barking dog, his neighbor's barking dog. He prayed to God for a while. He made one call to Joe. He made one call to Joe Pesci. That dog was k- taking That's care right, of. Got shit done in, in a night. Well, he said God gets about fifty percent of the stuff done. Joe Pesci gets about fifty percent. Fifty percent of the stuff done. Yeah, so, yeah, it's great. Yeah. So this fucking T-shirt over here. This is just the idiocracy that is, I think, religion in, in a fucking nutshell right here. So, God, as everyone seems to know him, is this all-powerful being, right? Who? Well, no, as Catholics know him, but, or Christians but, know him. But 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 any religion, whatever the, it's, whether it's the God of, like Yahweh from the Jewish religion that turned mm-hmm. into Christianity, or it's Allah the fucking Muslim guy. It's all about how the God is the most powerful thing and he created the universe and he has say and it's his plan and blah, 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 blah. All this shit that just, it feels nice in your head but it doesn't really add up to anything. Mm -hmm. So, apparently, to get 26,761 shares with 4,007 likes, this person has to print out a t-shirt that only to me proves that there's there's only two options for this quote unquote god if there is a god, mm-hmm. he's either inept or fucking asshole, right? He's either inept at the fact, or he's incompetent. Maybe it's the, incompetence a better word. Maybe he has no maybe he has no fucking power, right? Mm-hmm. He's supposed to be all powerful, regardless of not if humans would like to be in control and say that he can't be in schools. He apparently has no power over this. Apparently, somehow, this imaginary invisible line between the separation of church and state and schools, where kids, can, they can still pray and shit. It's just not, you just can't force it on them. Well, yeah. Um, maybe, apparently, maybe, so, maybe apparently the way he's, it is. He, apparently, he's, in, he's either in, he's incompetent, he can't help, mm-hmm. which apparently he can't, or he's a fucking dick. Yeah. He's an asshole. Well, maybe. Because the almighty, powerful person... Well, I know these are young children, and they all mean well, and they're just trying to learn and better themselves and their society in the long run, but I'm just going to look the other way when the shooter comes in and tears up a whole fucking school and kills some teachers in there because I'm um, I'm all-powerful, and I guess what? Like, I work in mysterious ways. Maybe God's parenting style is, as Christopher Titus said, you know, you have the mother who's about, you know, the child's about to electrocute itself on the, on the you know, the socket in the wall. She says, no, don't do that. That's going to hurt you. Dad, and maybe this is God's style. Dad goes, you know, the kid's about to electrocute himself. He goes, whoa, wait, 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 wait. This is gonna be a little funny, you know. And the kid shoots, you know, electrocutes himself. He go up to him, and go. Now you're not gonna do that again, now, are you? But w- apparently, we just never quite learned that lesson. Well, that's nice if someone gets shocked once, but it's a lot fucking different when kids are getting fucking ripped apart by AK-47s in schools. Yeah. Bye. By the same, the same people who want guns are the same people that ironically pray for God. You, I would say Usually. the percentage. Yeah, they're praying for that, right? So they're praying for more. They want to keep their guns, but then they're going in and taking them out. And little God says, "Either I don't care, or I can't help, and maybe I'm not that fucking powerful to begin with." There's a lot of. A lot of different uh, contradictions is what I'm <laughs> looking for. It's only contradictions. Yeah. There are only contradictions. Mike, you feel uncomfortable in this conversation, don't you? No, it's just... The, this topic doesn't interest me all that much. And honestly, you just kind of keep repeating yourself. You're making the same point over and over again. When I see these things like this... It infuriates me. I know it does. Because I've heard this this kind of thing before. It infuriates me. God can respond to a t-shirt print, but not when it really matters. Yeah. Congratulations. P. 
people are worshipping a fucking incompetent asshole. Moving on to the next topic, Mike. Let's move on. Arrested Development. Oh, they are coming back. Did you see the new trailer? No. But apparently in different cities across the world, they 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 are putting up the Bluth frozen banana stands. Yes, to they promote, are. To promote for the movie. And uh, they had one up in New York City today. I could go for a, a frozen banana covered in chocolate. And There's always money in the banana stand. No touching. <laughs> And so, yes, I got it. So it comes out, what, like May 20th or something? May 26th. Which is how long? Two weeks? Not even? Oh, the, uh, 13 days. Basically, I got to catch myself up on some fucking Arrested Development. You got 13 days to watch almost four seasons. You're like four or five episodes Luckily, in. Luckily, though, they're only half an hour episodes, which is 20, 22 minutes, minus com- when commercials aren't involved. Yes. So... I can knock pretty much two down in the time it would take me to watch one episode of like a True Blood or like a Dexter. Yes. Or a regular hour, you know, an hour type uh, TV show, which is great. But yes. I, I I always used to watch it in the past, like when I, when it was on, I'd watch it and I it was funny, but you didn't quite. Yeah, didn't, it's not the same. Well, I wasn't really paying attention enough to be able to really understand the tie-in. It was the same with me, but I, oh I got into God. it earlier than you. I got into it in college. The, this the first couple episodes that I only oh, watched a couple the other night too. Yeah. Oh my God, they're so good. It's so funny. I can't wait to see what happens with. Um, what's the guy? He gets the hook hand. Buster. I can't wait to. I can't wait to see what happens with Buster while he loses his hand because I don't remember it from when I first watched it. Yeah. It. You might well. It it kind of comes out of nowhere. Did Did you hear how they're doing the new episodes though? It's supposed to be. It's like they're doing basically an episode per, for each each character. person. Okay. Yeah. And is it like just randomly, or is it like since the last show happened, or what? Or do you not know that yet? I don't know. Well, in the trailer, it looked like. It it's up to like what's going on right now, like you know. It looks like George Michael's, like, off in school or something. I, I don't know. Michael Sarah's character, right? Yeah. Yeah, George Michael. George Michael. My my two that, favorites, though, that story are, with him are Job chasing, and Tobias are my favorites. That storyline with him chasing after his cousin like that? Yeah, maybe. Oh, my God. That is too much for me to fucking handle. What, I, what do you think of maybe? Do you think she's cute? Um... Well, how All old, grown up now. How old is she in that episode, Mike? I'm not talking about then. <laughs> I'm talking about now. Did she get a little chubbier as the episodes went on? Uh, I don't know if the episodes went on. I think now she is. But I, I don't know. I've seen her in different things. I always thought she had potential to grow up to be really cute. I don't think she... Didn't live up to the I don't, potential? I don't think so. Didn't do it? No. No, it's too bad. It's always too bad. Oh, my God. The Rangers are up 5 nothing now. Oh, my God. Oh, they wow. just scored again. And that guy's ups are purple. He is cold. Game 7, they're, they're winning 5 nothing. That's always that's usually a good sign. That's a nail in the coffin. Whew. That's a nail in the coffin, my friends. All right, Rich. I, I, have, I have a question for you. Question me up. Let's say you have an alternative life. Alternative. You're, you're, you're very close to the same person you are now, but uh-huh. you decided to take – Another direction with your career. Hmm. What basically either realistic or just straight up dream jobs. Give dream. me give me a few. Give me like three. Dream jobs? Yeah. Three. Or like just alternative jobs that you could have done but you just it it didn't you know, you didn't get into that. You you went you went in a different direction. I would love to become a Brazilian waxer for the ladies. A Brazilian waxer. All right, so so the ladies come in. You, but I mean, the problem with that is you can get uh, somebody like oh god, what's his name from Jackass? Phil's brother. Phil's brother. Yeah. Uh, or, I'm sorry, Bam's dad, Phil. Oh, his his brother. Oh, Vito. Uh, oh, Uncle Vito. Yeah, Uncle Vito or whatever. Yeah. He, he had a Brazilian wax, so what, what happens when he walks in the door? Well, you see, it's my fucking dream job, Mike, and I only <laughs> accept tens. I only accept a hot lady clientele. See, and here's the difference between you thinking, oh, well, I'm I'm not be- talking about dream jobs as like that. I'm talking about, you know, it has to be an actual job. Oh, this is an actual job. No, 
th- there's no person that only gets to do to, to do Brazilian waxes. I'll do. Tennis. I'll be a masseuse too. No, but that's what I'm saying. They don't only have that clientele. In my job, I will become so popular with it. That that's I can, not what I'm talking can, about, though. Then I can ask. The, the job it itself up. is actually a real job. It has to actually exist. That is Cli- a job. Clientele and everything. That's not a real clientele base. I could be some fucking Hollywood dude. No, that's what I'm saying. And but it doesn't. No, any like. I'd it's be, not. Oh, I know you what can't, I can't. It I, can't be that. I know what I would do. I'd be a personal trainer for the stars. Okay. So like Alicia. So Cuth- you're gonna, So like Alicia Cuthbert will come down after the NHL hockey game. I really need to work on my my glutes. Yeah, for her boyfriend. No, for her. I set the rules, Mike. <laughs> No, that's what I'm giving you the rules. You can't set the rules. I'm the one asking the question. This is supposed to be my fucking dream job, not your Mitch kind of job, but it still sucks job. No, but that's the thing. All right. For example, do you ever watch Family Guy when they do the question? One of them asks a question, and they ask the the person who asked the question the rules based on the question. So it's, nope. it's my game, my rules. All right. You have to abide by my rules. Okay. Real jobs. And real clientele. You gotta take the good with the bad, but dream jobs. Then I'd be a fucking actor then. Okay. I'd be an actor. Or I'd be a musician. But those two are lame because that's what a lot of people would like. Musician. What what kind of music would you do? I'd say folk metal. Folk metal. Yeah, folk metal. I don't believe you. Folk metal is great metal. You you're not a real metal fan though. See, I'm a folk fan. Yeah, but you're a rock fan, not not so much metal. Fan. Folk metal would be fucking great. So what does folk metal sound like? It's kind of like you take a banjo and ukulele, and you just distort the shit out of it. it sounds bad. It sounds like it's a fucking untapped genre, my friend. I think it's for a reason. Because no one's thought of it, and I'm a fucking brilliant son of a bitch. Yeah. You do that. Dude, just don't quit your day job, but you go ahead and try that one. Quit your day job, Jack. <laughs> yeah, don't quit. Yeah. <laughs> it's, and then, unless we say stop, and then you must really stop. I'd, want, I'd hate to be a cosmic shame. That's right. Or maybe I'd be a roadie. Roadie? That would, the roadie knows what terrible. the roadie knows, and the roadie knows to wear black clothes and hide off in the shadows of the stage. That's right. i got to listen to that album again. It's been a while. Low-hanging fruit. Roadie, Rise of the Phoenix, fantastic songs. I always wanted to... What did you I, want to be, Mike? My, one of mine was always... You get in the chef world still, or you got to move out of the chef world? Uh, well, no, that's what I'm saying. It's Well, I got my... I am the chef, you know. The restaurant thing, you know, or catering company, something like that. But I'm, I'm talking about outside the, the restaurant world. I'm talking about different career path. I, w- I always thought... all. Th- it's much better oh, and easier to do it if you have like, if you can sing. I can't, but I always well, wanted that's, to that's be. That's the part you get. That's built in. What your job is, you're fucking awesome at it. That's why I could have been the bikini waxer of the stars, dude. Because I'm a fucking, I'm a great, great one-handed slick rip fucking Brazilian wax pussy shaven son of a bitch. But it's still something I could do with the voice I have now. Is I want to. I so it's want... an alternative, but not that alternative universe. Yeah. You know, well, I'm not, th- I'm not that, that far off from mine. That one I said, you know, can change, but the job itself has to be real. Oh, okay. So, um, so spit it out. Well, you you keep interrupt, up, interrupting she me. You gotta so let long. me finish. She takes so long. Oh, you take a long time too, asshole. All right. Anyway, <laughs> see, you always interrupt me. Um, <laughs> I always wanted to be a, a voiceover actor. For like cartoons and stuff. Oh, that would be fun. That would be fun. And Voice then the you know the fun. the the you know manager for baseball, GM for football, you know that kind of thing. The other one but, that I, uh, yeah. The other one I just thought of too that would be fucking kick ass. What's that? It's like a photographer for like Playboy or some shit. Yeah, that would that that would photographer? be photographer. How fuck hard is that job? Bend over this way, arch your tits out closer to my camera lens. <laughs> yeah. It's- Oh, All boy. right, let's spread it. I'll go back there and shave that pussy. I'm seeing some stubble. <laughs> that's a great job. You boss chicks around. You need to lose some weight. And they can't get mad at you. You're that's professional. True. You're giving them advice. <laughs> they have to ad- abide by your rules. You get to go to these nice places. You get to see all these ladies. 
It'd be great. You want to throw the ultimate, ultimate dream job? Is Just push though, it on Instagram. It's great. Is uh, Anthony Bourdain's job when he uh, had his show on the Travel Channel. Fly Literally around travel the around the world. And just eat awesome food. Uh, that's just I'd imagine you could you get do. some crazy fucking food poisoning and sickness and shit, though. Could that happen to you? You he knows what he's doing, and I I would know what I'm doing too. Yeah, but you go to some of those marketplaces in one of those crazy countries, dude. That's some, so some little some little some little bug in one of those things you don't so know about. God, so good. So you you take you take the chance. Oh, absolutely. You take two or three days of food poisoning for all the rest of it to be good. At one hundred percent, I have always said. You know, some people say, oh, I don't want my steak medium rare because, you know, it, I could, you know, I could get sick, which usually doesn't happen because it can't penetrate the steak. But I always say I would rather eat a delicious medium rare or rare steak oh, yeah. 100 times and get sick the once yeah. than eat a disgust, just eat fucking well done dis- steak every time. Yeah. 100 times and, and not get sick. I agree. Disgusting. I, love, I love puking. It's so good. Especially when it's only once a year. But it, but it's worth it to have the great food. It thins you out. It's a great, it's a great way to go. Purging. Mm. 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 All right. Do you want to call it right there? Do our next section. So, so I'm gonna be a photographer or a musician or an actor or a Brazilian wax slash masseuse. No, not the Brazilian wax masseuse because you couldn't <sighs> I take really wanted that the clientele. Just you know, I'd probably do, I would probably I would probably do the the band guy over the actor because it seems like I could be able to just stamp you know, later. You know, the photographer though. The photographer's great. The photographer's really good and really easy. You would boss people around. Yep. Like I'm trying to fix my angles, but your nose is too goddamn big. <laughs> trying to fix them. Trying to fix it. Get that nose shaved down. You'd love that. Oh, that'd be great. Put some ice cubes on those nips. I need to. I need them to pop through that that white cloth Bing. that you're wearing. Ba-doo, ba-doo. <laughs> that's the greatest. That's the greatest sound for popping nipples of all time. Ba-doo, ba-doo. I like Bing. Bing. What's nipple tits. Nipple tits. <laughs>